Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to discuss the morphology of the maxillary deciduous lateral incisor. So the maxillary deciduous lateral incisors are the second tooth from the midline. This is the maxillary deciduous central incisor and this is the lateral incisor. Same over here. The crown is smaller in all dimensions if you compare it with the central incisor. The lateral incisors, they emerge into the oral cavity at the age of around 11 months. And the root of these teeth are completed by the age of 2 years. These teeth remain in service for almost 6 years after eruption. And they are replaced eventually by the permanent lateral incisors by the age of 8 to 9 years. This is the labial aspect of the deciduous lateral incisor. So from the labial aspect, this tooth is smaller in all dimensions if you compare it with the central incisor. The tooth is longer cervico-incisally cervico as compared to the mesiodistal dimensions. These are the incisal angles. This is the mesial incisal angle and this is the distal inci distal incisal angle. These incisal angles, they are more rounded if you compare it with the central incisor. The root is longer as compared to the incisor cervical dimensions of the crown. The apex, this is the root apex and the root apex it is more sharp if you compare it with the central incisor where the root tip is more blunt. This is the palatal aspect. These are the marginal ridges. This is the mesial side of the tooth and this is the distal side of the tooth. So this is the mesial marginal ridge and this is the distal marginal ridge. So the marginal ridges, they are more prominent and the cingulum, this is a cingulum and it is also more prominent. Therefore, the palatal surface, it is more concave uh, or the palatal fossa, it is more concave. This is the root surface and uh, you can see some part of the distal side and some of the mesial side from the palatal aspect of the root. Now the mesial aspect, the mesial aspect is similar to that of the deciduous central incisor. Uh, same like uh, the curvature of the cervical line is more on the mesial side if you, if you see it from the distal side. So this is the distal side, here the curvature of the cervical line it is less. And uh, the remaining features are the same like that of the maxillary central incisor. This is the incisal aspect. From the incisal aspect, this crown is more circular in shape. This is the labial aspect of the crown, which is more convex. The crown is much narrower mesiodistally if you compare it with the crown of the central incisor. And this is the palatal fossa and this is the cingulum. Thank you very much for watching.